So, key question, uh, you know, you, you, you raised it right up uh, uh, off the bat, and that is whether the U.S. will come to Taiwan's aid if there is a physical assault or invasion uh, of Taiwan. I mean, we both know about uh, the, the legislation which has uh, come down so far, and it, it's been pretty vague, right? Heading into a new election uh, cycle, presidential election cycle, uh, d does it change uh, the chances of that actually happening, uh, of the U.S. actually coming out and saying, if this does happen, we will do this. We will come to Taiwan's aid. Mm, yeah, President Biden has said clearly that we would come, uh, the United States would come to Taiwan's aid. And then uh, you probably noticed that the White House um, has, has walked that back after he made those statements each time. And so the question is, wow, did he make mistakes three times or does he really mean it? And I have a tendency to think if someone repeats the same thing over and over again, he really means it. But of course, there is no, um, there's no legislation, there's no obligation for the United States to defend Taiwan. The Taiwan Relations Act of 1979, which is U.S. law, says very clearly that the United States must um, help Taiwan defend itself. And therefore, we have been selling uh, Taiwan billions of dollars of arms over the years. Um, more recently, there's, being a, there's talk of more of a troop presence um, in Taiwan, and, and certainly the United States is tightening up alliances further with Japan, uh, with the Philippines now with President Marcos in power, who's much more supportive of the U.S. than his predecessor Duterte was, and then um, South Korea. And so tightening up those alliances, you know, hence, hence uh, Tingang's comment about, you know, containment and saying that, wow, um, you know, containment will not make America great and that Taiwan is the big issue in U.S.-China uh, relations. And that is the biggest um, area of stress that could lead to conflict between the United States and China. Indeed. Uh, folks in Taiwan, do you, is there any sort of consensus? I mean, how, how imminent a threat do they feel uh, a Chinese assault or invasion uh, is and within what kind of time frame? Because depending on who you talk to, I mean, folks at the Pentagon think it's going to happen next year. Uh, but you talk to other people and go, well, look, it's probably going to be during Xi Jinping's new and latest uh, five-year term because, I mean, he wants to, that to be part of his legacy. But, but uh, you know, it depends who you talk to. Who knows? Well, I, I think, honestly, what makes the most sense um, if I were an advisor to Xi Jinping, I would say, why don't you wait and see how the presidential election um, pans out in Taiwan? Taiwan will have presidential elections in January of next year. So that's really not that far away. You know, the candidates, the dust is settling with the various candidates. Um, they will campaign much later in the year. Campaign season in Taiwan is much shorter, thankfully, than in the United States. But that election will be in January. And and, and the um, the candidate right now for DPP is is, is very pro uh, Taiwan. Let's say. Um, political separation from mainland China. Um, the Nationalist Party um, is not for unification under current circumstances, but they are for more dialogue. And so I think a lot depends on who is going to be leading Taiwan. And then also the United States has a presidential election next year. So a lot is going to depend on who comes, you know, to the front uh, of that election in the presidential, presidential election in the United States.